Hey guys, welcome to another Matt's Vintage Video Games video. Today, the topic is going to be Customer Service 101. So, it, whether you own your own store, whatever it is, whether you sell lunch meat or you sell cupcakes or you sell video games, um, this video here might be for you. So, listen to what I have to say. You don't have to agree with everything I say, and if you don't, you know, that's fine. This is America. Uh, you can have a different opinion than me, and, and I'll respect it. But um, all that I ask is that you just respect mine, and you can either take some of my advice from this video or not, and it's completely up to you. Um, what I want to say, uh, first of all, is if you are in customer service, um, no matter how hard it is, uh, you need to engage your customer, and you need to smile and be friendly at all times. At all times. If somebody is angry or upset or doesn't seem interested in talking then just very kindly excuse them uh you know walk away uh you know but just always do everything you do in any time that you are conversing with a customer just be friendly and smiley and happy that's that's the best advice that i could give you uh right off the top um People respond well when you respond well to them. When you speak well to them, they respond well to you, most generally. Uh, most people are nice, and uh, they just want to be treated nicely. So, if you have a miserable look on your face, or a miserable attitude, or you're totally in your own head, and you're worried about your kids, and you're worried about your life, and you're worried, you know, you're, you're there to do a job. You're there to be... Um, an entrepreneur or you're there to be a cashier or whatever it is your job is to be there for that customer and that's the number one point of your job is to make the customer happy so no matter what you have going on in your own life at least while you're in customer service you have to get it through your mind that you are there for that person because if you make that person happy then they're likely to spend more money and that's the whole goal of customer service so to be friendly to people sometimes is very difficult. I realize that there's customers out there, um, you know, and I've had them too, that no matter what you say or do, they are completely unhappy. They were unhappy when they walked in the door. They'll be unhappy maybe the rest of their lives. Some people are just unhappy people and you can't help them. All you can do is try to help. And if you can't help and you realize that there's nothing you can do, you can always say, well, have a great day, sir or ma'am, and walk away. And that's all you can do. Uh, you're going to have those people from time to time. It's just it's just going to happen. If you're in customer service for any long period of time, you're going to run into people that, you know, every now and then are just, you're not able to help them. You're not able to satisfy them. There's nothing you can do. And you just be friendly and respectful and kind of nicely draw yourself away from the situation and let them people be. Because sometimes there's some people that just don't even want you to talk to them or don't want to talk to you or don't want to see you so you know in that situation you know you don't have to say or do anything just be respectful when and if somebody does talk to you in that in that situation um the other thing i want to say is you know this is not the 1950s it's not the 1940s or the 30s um, in today's age, you know, the customer is not always right. It's the truth, you know. Uh, there are people that absolutely buy stuff and have customer remorse and decide they don't want it, and they expect you to give them a full refund. Now, if you're working for Walmart or you're working for some other big major corporation and that's their policy, then you do your job. You do what your boss and your company tells you you have to do. If you are supposed to give them a refund, then even if you think it's really stupid, give them a refund. But, you know, I run my own company, um, and I'm a small company. I'm a, you know, basically um, a, an American mom and pop company. So I make the rules. I set my own rules. And as much as I want to help people, if somebody is completely out of line or over the line, um, I can simply tell them to leave and I've had to do it before and I'm sure it'll happen again in the future and if that situation happens you know stand your own ground 
you know, I'm not going to allow anybody to come into me and walk all over me and expect me to give something to them when I didn't do anything wrong in the first place. Because the way I look at that is that they're taking food off of my table. So, you know, I've got a real problem with that. And why wouldn't I? That's my food. That's my bread. So, of course, if you do anything wrong, then it's always wise to take care of your customer. And, and there's many, many different ways to do that. But if you make a mistake, you always apologize and offer to help. The best thing you can do in any situation is talk to your customers, talk to your people, listen to what they're telling you, and come to a good resolution. Whether you work in big business or a small little retail shop, customers aren't always right, but if you listen, you'll find that most of the time things can be worked out and resolved. You know, if I make a mistake, if I sell somebody a game system and, you know, I didn't test it or something, and they bring it back and they say, well, look, this is, this is wrong with it. And I, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. And, um, man, I'll, I'll take care of it, you know? And I'll either get them another one, or if the, the situation is that I don't have it, and that's really all they want, and you know, depending on the situation, I'll give them their cash back. But the thing is, is I'm not running a soup kitchen, and I'm not just giving away merchandise for free. All my stuff is guaranteed, but it's always clean and tested and guaranteed. So if I make a mistake in that small chance that I do, and, you know, I'm not perfect and it has happened, then I do take care of my customer. And the reason I do that is because even if they're not happy today, I don't want them to feel like I'm a bad business person or I'm a bad business to shop with, that I, I took care of them, I did the best I could to make them happy, and people respect that. And more times than not, they're going to appreciate it and thank you for it, and they're going to come back in and see you again. Uh, you know, so a uh, good customer service is the number one thing that you have to have if you're in sales. If you're in the industry to where you are a cashier or you're serving fries over the counter or you run your own store, uh, you have to have good customer service skills. You have to have it. Uh, it's not easy to get. Just learn how to talk to people. That's very simple. When you are in your job and you are working in customer service, it is no longer about you or your problems or your life or your family or anything. It's about your customer. It's absolutely 100% about your customer. Um, I don't know what else there, there really is to say other than that. I think that's the biggest point. I appreciate you watching my video today. I hope it was uh, insightful. I hope it was at least a little bit helpful. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, comment below in the comment section there, and uh, I'll read them and try to get back with you. Uh, if you have any negative thoughts, you know, uh, I put those down too. I'll try to erase them if I can. doesn't really matter to me. Uh, these are my opinions. This is the way I feel about it. This is the way I run my company, and this is the way I recommend anybody runs theirs or anybody that's in customer service. I recommend that's how you talk to the people that come into your store. Uh, number one thing being... It's all about them. It's not about you. And even if you're in a, a terrible situation and you're having just the roughest day you've ever had, put on a smile, say thank you, come again. That's the point of being there and that's the point of what you're doing. So I hope you can take my advice. Guys, check out my website. It's www.mattsvintagevideogames.com. Don't forget to uh, hit that little like and subscribe button down below and uh, look for more videos coming soon. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Yeah.